Earlier this week, I was in New York with our constitutional officers, the Speaker of the House, and our Commissioner of Finance and Administration to meet with the bond rating agencies. Bond ratings help determine the expense of our state debt. The ratings are essentially Tennessee's credit report card. We currently have a AAA rating, that's the highest you can get, from two of the agencies, Moody's and Fitch, and a AA plus rating from Standard & Poor's. Our goal is obviously to have AAA ratings from all three. We should know how we did in the next several weeks, but I feel really good about our meetings. You know, it's fun to talk about Tennessee because we have a great story to tell. We're a low tax and a low debt state. In fact, as far as debt per capita, we're among the lowest of all 50 states. And the analysts were impressed that while our revenue collections exceeded expectations, we didn't rush out immediately to spend all that money. The most common question from all three agencies was, how will decisions in Washington impact the state of Tennessee? There's no question that Tennessee will receive less federal funding in the upcoming years. All states will. But I think that's a good thing. We want Washington to tackle the deficit and decrease spending. And in Tennessee, we'll be prepared for that. We have a track record of so solid fiscal management. When federal stimulus funds ran out, we made the necessary cuts while maintaining priorities such as funding for K-12 education. We continue to build the rainy day fund. We eliminated the gift tax. We're eliminating the state's inheritance tax. These are only a few examples of conservative fiscal policy. It's what we said we would do, and it's what we're doing. Keeping taxes low, keeping debt low, and making strategic budget decisions. In Tennessee, we believe that's the way things ought to be done.